love here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I created these adorable shabby chic um, embellishments using these flat metal frames. And all I did was fussy cut some images out of some paper, but you could easily personalize these with pictures of family or other things that are important to you, or you could even uh, print out or handwrite a message to go in them. They're just so super cute. And you could even you know, um, add to it by adding some little flowers or some flat back pearls maybe, or some bows. There's just endless possibilities. So I'm gonna show you how to put these together. I did want to mention that I was inspired to create these by my friend Siobhan, who's Pearl and Button here on YouTube, when she sent me some happy mail and it had some of these sort of embellishments that she had made in it. I just thought, yes, these are amazing. So I took the time to fussy cut some of, uh, you know, images I thought were really pretty and would look great in here. And now I am using glossy accents to adhere them down. There are other adhesives you can use, but Glossy Accents, in my opinion, works great for this. So I put down a layer of Glossy Accents, and then I just press the image down all the way. I don't want any air bubbles, and I start in the middle, but then I make sure and I press down around the edges and let you know any adhesive that's going to seep out you know, do so, and I just wipe it off with my finger. And then I'm just going to let these dry before I go on to the next step. But I do love them and like I said you could just print out you know images that you wanted that you found maybe on Pinterest or pictures of family or whatever you want you can put in here but I happen to have this beautiful shabby paper and um, I just cut from that. I think and I did use one tilde pad but I think this one was um, a peon pad. They don't have the name of it. I think it's where the roses grow. Mm, don't quote me on that though. <laughs> but it was it goes really quick and easy. These are just such an adorable little embellishment. I love them. So once they dry, you know me if you've been around for any length of time, I must stickle everything. Stickle adds just the right amount of sparkle because everything should have sparkle. So I go ahead and I add the stickles wherever I want a little a little shimmer and then I let that completely dry before I go on to the next step. Isn't it beautiful? Now I am going to use glossy accents over the um, entire image and it gives it a nice shiny clear coat. Now if you have old glossy accents it starts to yellow so you want to make sure that you have a nice you know bottle that hasn't yellowed at all so that you don't you know get a yellowed image so I just go around the edges first and then I like to fill in the middle and then I kind of give it a little shake and it kind of evens itself out I want to make sure there's no air bubbles but it's that simple and you just let it dry and they're beautiful so let me know what you think I hope you loved it if you'd like to see more tutorials like this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe I'll see you on the next one